camera, you don't see S H I T. Why? Because it's dark and it's the devil's territory. Like, what is this? You are beautifully and wonderfully made. up it is your girl your cousin your bff your auntie your sister and your mama lwl so today is um thursday it's october the first happy october i reckon um we are rocking the puff and that's that i'm getting ready to go into town do drop off this cd for sunday and then a couple errands oh going to drop off my the hats to and meet my baby cousin for the first time because i didn't get to officially meet him so i'm gonna go in and do that really quick and then um going into town then i gotta come back and get myself together and ready because i believe i'm headed out tonight i was gonna go leave um you know i said i'm hanging with my friend this weekend to um i was gonna go friday morning but um, I'm gonna go tonight because um, they don't have to work tomorrow, so we'll just make like a very long weekend of it. Just a little something to do, a getaway. Um, yeah. Y'all, I'm feeling really good. Um, just because, I don't know, I just felt like I told you guys like this peace that came all over me, so. Um, I'm feeling good. I hope that you all are in great spirits, that you all are doing well. Um, you know, it wasn't really a difficult decision of what to do with the channel once things switched up because I just pretty much went back to the same format. You know, you guys have been ride or die and, um, you know, added a couple things, you know, with the equipment that I have now. So I'm definitely blessed. Oh, and I do have an update. So, um, Ashley furniture now let me tell y'all there was still one step left okay so I um the guys came this morning and picked up the furniture um, so now it's waiting for the refund because they're like as soon as the furniture gets back to the um, warehouse they'll do the refund I don't want any BS I don't want y'all, nothing. That furniture probably was set on maybe less than a month, if that, and I wasn't really sitting on it all the time. I sat on one little piece, but it was in great condition. They took it apart and left, so um, that's a good thing, finally. And what I am getting is so much better anyway. See, that's how God works. That's how God works. waiting and waiting waiting for one thing you get it and you realize that it's partial oh that was a word you get that thing and it's partial and it's inadequate and there's so many issues with it that you send it back and then you are blessed with something so much greater ow bye y'all <laughs> hey y'all what's up so we are getting ready to run out for a second. It's done got cool already. I think it's about to rain all weekend. What's this? I'm not talking. Oh. You, you ran like they about to fall off your feet. Good, I'm taking them. <laughs> he always got something to say. He self stank shirt. Camera's on. You still got them little beads. I don't know what they done put up over there now. Stupid. Mary Kay has, the month of October has begun, so y'all know she is breast cancer survivor and earning it up. I keep mine, my, my buttons are on my thing. My oh. jacket. They stay on here all year. Oh. See? Hope. Oh. I mean, they be in a wash and everything. All right, John, we're just going. 
Yeah, you get something new every year. I'll give you something. That's a hint. I'm gonna make it. What you? Um, <laughs> but say, I ain't buying it for you. Look at this beautiful Jersey sunset. I hope y'all can see it. Get a little bit. I can only imagine what it looks like at the beach. Oh, I had a good view a minute ago. I mean, hello. Do y'all see that? Mm, mm, mm. That is awesome. What's up, y'all? It is your girl, your cousin, your auntie, your sister, your BFF, your mother. LWL. So today is Friday, it's October 2nd. Um, just wanted to say what's up to you guys. For me, it is afternoon. It is 1227. So I think sometimes I want to say that because I'm really liking the date and timestamp um, that comes with Final Cut Pro, but I don't know how to fix mine because it's always an hour after. So like it's 1230, almost 1230. I'm sure it's going to say 130, but anyway, I don't know. Um, so I am getting ready to be out and about for the day. Okay. So I will have you all a little bit later. Just wanted to say what's up. And that's that. Hey y'all, what's up? It is your girl, your cousin, your auntie, your BFF, your niece, and your mama. What's up? It's LWL. So today is Saturday. It's October the 3rd. And I just wanted to say good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time this is for you guys. Um, so I'm out and about getting ready to start my day. Um, looking forward to a little craziness later. So we'll see how that works out. Um, I'll holler at y'all later. Smooches. Camera, you don't see S H I T. Why? Because it's dark and it's the devil's territory. Like, what is this? <sighs> What kind of bull? Like, why would I want to do this? Hey y'all, what's up? It is your girl, your cousin, your auntie, your BFF, your sister, your niece, and your mama, LWL. <laughs> so, it's Sunday. It is October 4th. Um, I rarely vlog this weekend. I'm back at home, as you guys can see. Um, my favorite spot to vlog when I'm at home. Um, especially now since there is no furniture in the living room except for the chairs. But, um... I'm excited for all of that. Uh, just wanted to say what's up to you guys. Uh, I vlogged a little bit last night when my friend and I went to this crazy behind drive through Halloween thing or whatever. If y'all know me, y'all know I don't play with Halloween. Like, I don't, I'm just not into it. I don't do trick or treaters that come by. Because in this neighborhood, they, they do still do that, or they did prior to COVID. I'm not sure what's going on this year, but most of the time, I would never be home. Or I would be like, um, uh, we would have something at church for the kids, um, which was an alternative, you know, to Halloween. But we're not doing that this year, so um, I'm just kind of doing my thing the more i wear my hair like this and i know y'all y'all know i use this really as a, a mirror sometimes but i told you guys with everything that was going on my, my mother my mom's hair is like this so like there's always these two little spots that are thin and i realized that with all the stress that i was dealing with like they were thinning even more so i caught myself sweeping them over the other night when i did my hair because I, I haven't put anything on my hair today but y'all i'm thinking if 
I want to do a, a video. You guys let me know in the comments below that were that came here initially for natural hair. Um, let me see if I can get up close because this is really nothing on it. But like I haven't put anything additional on it. But that has got to be like the most moisturized my hair has been in a long time and has held it. Um, I got this combination that's really working for me. So I would love to share because I mean my hair does hold moisture well but not this well like this whole combination is working and i'm not changing a thing um so it works well with the moisture works well with the definition it's really soft you know i don't have to put anything on it like i said i haven't put anything on my edges for a day and a half well it'll be two days because i'm not putting nothing on it today um but um i had a good weekend uh was fun catching up um and uh like i said we went to that little thing yesterday i don't know if i can even if i'll edit it because it was clowns and stuff there i don't play with cat clowns mm -mm. i don't play with clowns or cats because they're both of the devil so and my friend's like oh it's not gonna be clowns there fool that was the first thing that we saw so um you know but it was just something to do because really what is there to do nowadays um for me I mean, that's not something I would typically do. I would not also typically do bars or lounges like that. Um, unless it's like a poetry type of situation. And I'm still not comfortable in closed corners yet with people. Um, you know, unless it's like a group of, in you know, an intimate group of friends. So, today I am back here. I'm going to eat. Lula dropped off some food my mom made yesterday and she dropped off some cookies she made so I just came from outside and uh, which is so sweet uh, my cousin and them live probably about two miles from me a little bit closer to my mom and them but um, she was coming to see her great grandson and uh, she dropped that off for me and uh, yeah I need to see my moochie soon like, he's really too close for me not to be seeing him, especially on the weekends. I know school is back. He's working virtually from home, but that little boy is, like, the sweetest thing ever. Um, to me, anyway. Uh, what else can I say? I think that's it. I'm, pretty, I'm feeling pretty good. I have moments still, guys, where I'm, like, up and down, but that's just... I think everybody's going through that. Why am I getting overwhelmed? I swear, y'all, I was just fine. I'm so freaking emotional. But I'm, I'm like, just, and I'm not going to do it today. Because I said I'm not going to come on here and be whining about the same old thing. I'm going to press through. Because I want to, I want to show you guys um, transparency. But I also want to show you guys that even when I'm down, how I get back up, should I say. So I am, like feeling good i'm just still stressed with the state of the world today i'm stressed with still not knowing when i'm going back to work um you know although sometimes you guys may look at what i show you and be like that she ain't stressed about no work or no money no ma'am i am um so you know and it seems like a never-ending cycle and it's also more so stressful when that's something you were able to get out of just over a year ago like it was just over a year ago um before COVID hit that i was working like i would have been at my job a year then week after we got furloughed so um, kind of put me back in a funk then you know relationship situation put me in it like it was just a lot piled up at once so um i'm definitely pushing through still every day um, every day is, uh, something, something else. <laughs> it's Mary Kay harassing me. Um, but, uh, I'm just ready to move on in so many aspects. So, um, saying that, I mean, I'm ready to move on, I believe, from my job. Um, I feel like if it doesn't happen, fine. They call everybody back. It's around January or something. I'll go. But I, right now, I need something in the meantime because unemployment is just not cutting it. Um, 
And hopefully God will give me something better. You know? So I'm cool with that. I'm ready to just move on with all things. Um, am I ready for a relationship or to find love? I don't know. I'm open to it. Um, I'm open to it because no matter what I've been through in my past, it has not tainted my heart. You know, it doesn't make me look at the male species and be like, F all y'all. No, it doesn't. Um, you know, I get in my feelings sometimes, but no. But I'm also content where I'm at. So, you know, if an opportunity presented itself and it was a good thing, then yeah, I, I would just go ahead and uh, pursue it or just, you know, move on to that and um, keep it going. I just feel like, um, you know, I sit and I look back and I don't know if any of you can relate to it where you feel like, especially if you're single, um, you've had so much love to give and you've just been giving it all to like people who either just don't appreciate it or don't know how to handle it just not ready for it you know um i'm definitely not bragging but i know what i give is rare i i witness other people's relationships i witness um you know things that i couldn't even fathom going on in a relationship so because i know what i bring to the table you know, I am cool with being able to say that a lot of people are just not ready for me. And that's okay. Um, but I'm not going to give up. I'm not. Um, I feel like when you work hard on your inner self or you work hard in general and you... It's okay to have standards. You need to have them. You definitely need to have them. And... You need not be ashamed of them. Uh, like I said, you know what you bring into the table. Ain't no drama. Ain't no BS. You know, you take into account how that individual needs to be loved. And you do your best. Um, so, I feel like no matter how many times I get knocked down, I'm just going to keep going. I am. Um, you know... God has never failed me, and for whatever reason, my past relationships didn't work. They weren't supposed to work. So, you know, I'm just like, God, how long is this going to take, though? For real. For real, sometimes I get a little sassy. So, but anyway. Um, oh, I'm going to edit. I did uh, a couple few days ago, right when I did that... Uh, hat with the green on it that I gave to my um, little cousin along with a couple other regular little bear hats I filmed one I did a tutorial so I'm ready to edit that and this time it actually came out better see the more you do it and you learn and how to, to do things and how to sew things so this is the one that I'm going to do the tutorial on it's really really cute his eyes look a little janky but I think it's just the way that I'm holding it that looks better and this is a pink. I don't know why it keeps coming up like this bright orange. But this is like a bright pink on there. But it's just the cutest thing. It's the foundation of a regular hat that anybody could have. Like a beanie hat. Um, so I'm going to do it uh, and with instructions for multiple sizes. And all of that. So that's what I'm going to start doing today. I'm about to eat the food that was given to me. But that was dropped off to me. And keep it moving. So my, my refrigerator is naked. My refrigerator is as, as naked as a newborn baby. Okay. But God is still good. Okay. So I'll holler at y'all later. Smooches. Oh, not time for LWL because I will be back. Look how fancy Lula is, y'all. Where's my remote? You got so Look how fancy Lula is. So when she dropped off the cookies, um, guys, I've eaten some already, of course. But they're in these little individual packs. I said, okay, Miss Fancy. They're good. She makes them from scratch. Where exactly is scratch? I don't know. But she has some individual ones. And then these are like doubles. Isn't that cute? I said, who? 
But these are just chocolate chip with um, pecans in it. Yeah, pecans. Get y'all life.